Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Talk about political correctness, or is this just a total royal snub? Now, the British, which, which is it, the BBC? They're saying the female face of the year is a panda. Not Kate Middleton, who just got married to Prince William last year. Hmm. Outrage. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Democratic Party survey proves that the 99% give more to charity than do the 1%. I know. The, the 90, <laughs> I know. And it, it just, they dig up these things trying to justify raising taxes. The wealthy are not giving their fair share uh, to charities. And therefore, we need to raise taxes on them to help those people that aren't being helped. By, uh, no. The majority of the money is given to charity by the people in the upper 10%. So you notice it's 1%, that 99% give more than 1%. That doesn't even follow normal rules. No. But the top 1% probably give more than any other 1%. They said that the, it is the top 1% is the biggest giver. But they say they only give to socially correct charities, things that will get the attention. I guess they shouldn't talk about the guy that gave $380 million to a university and what his name known. Are the guy yeah, that, I mean, are the guy that puts the thousand dollar gold coins in the uh, every year in the Salvation Army things and all of those other people? They don't give that money to charities. They only give it to people because they want their names known. You know, only yeah. people that put their name on something want their name known. That's Otherwise right. it's an anonymous tax deduction. Robinson exit to cost New York Times over $15 million. No, they didn't. They fired her is what it was. She didn't step down. She got fired. What happened? Uh, difference of opinion on how the thing should be ran because the, the newspaper has shifted so far to the left that they, um, they, they can't keep their, uh, the, the reader base is no longer to the mm -hmm. left in this country. It's in the middle. They've actually said newspapers are read mostly, newspapers and publications are read mostly by center uh, right. They are not read by center left, our left. So what do they do? They shift to the left and they lose the advertisers because the people are dropping the times like it was a, you know, wet potato or something. Well, and aren't advertisers generally more um, conservative? conservative more they don't the right? want controversy. Oh. And basically, when you come out and all you do is attack, I mean, like the, I think the editorial yesterday, which they love, they said that uh, the only reason that Fox News is doing so well is because Fox you know, the, the uh, Republicans are paying, are bribing Nielsen. Well, that didn't go over well with the Nielsen people. Yeah, I can bet, imagine it didn't. And almost 70 reporters killed worldwide in 2011. And yeah. it says RSF. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's the organization that keeps track of that. Well, it's, a, it's an all-time low, so. Oh. An Iraq PM warned Sunnis could be shut from power. Isn't that amazing how they said that uh, <clears throat> an hour after the United States left Iraq, the country started to evolve into civil war. Well, and is it they, supposed to surprise they them? They said, are we going to go back in? No. Will Obama be remembered for the destruction of Iraq and the Middle East? Oh, absolutely. But he's got to blame it on, they, I, I heard this last night, one of the comics on the left, Everyone knows that George Bush sat there triumphantly at the head of the tanks as they left Iraq, declaring victory, and that Barack Obama was on the ground begging, please, Mr. Bush, don't take the troops out of Iraq. Please, Mr. Bush, don't take the troops. Yeah. They, they said, um, one guy was talking to people, you mean none of you people saw President Bush on the tank like Michael Dukakis and the president begging him not to do it? Mm -hmm. They said that, where did they miss that news item? But he said, as soon as the Civil War breaks out, you can guarantee that Obama will tell you, I begged President Bush not to take the troops out, and he did it against the best wishes of my... <laughs> you know, I'm thinking that the, the people that chose the panda yeah. did it more for controversy than anything. No, they said it was a... They, or they, were, was it no, actually a mistake? Here is the thing with politically correctness. They don't understand that nobody else likes it. They said, well, we've got too many really attractive women, and we don't want to insult them. So the best way to in not insult them is to put a god-awful ugly bear as the, as, the, as the face of 2011. 
And they actually thought that that was the right thing to do. No, no, no. It would be very acceptable to Kate, put Kate Middleton. It's British. She just got married. No, but in political correctness, <laughs> it is all right to shut out the people that you're trying to protect. Okay. okay. Like in my neighborhood, the only people in the entire neighborhood to have Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah were the ones that weren't. Were the ones that are not, they're Muslims, folks. And they wish, they, you know, the, all the Jews in the neighborhood, they wish them a happy Hanukkah too. They basically, when the Christians come by, they're very proud of their display. Big lights. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. And they, they got in the lights, they come on. And they've got this really beautiful, they don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> they do not celebrate. I think I, my, my daughter likes the pretty, pretty lights. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why they go put more lights up every year because his daughter likes like the lights. Light. Yeah. And bank scores on ECB loans, a market share short lived. Well, not according to the bank, according to Wall Street today. Every market in the world collapsed, but on the news that the. Um, that basically everybody got screwed in Europe over the, okay, they pulled an Obama thing where the, all the money that was loaned to the banks basically just got stayed in the banks and didn't go anywhere else. Oh, really? They did, the banks did do buy nine, uh, and they bought uh, 11 billion dollars of their own bonds, though. And then they bought them at one percent. They were supposed to be sold to people at three percent, they bought them at one percent. Which meant they didn't. They were going to help out Italy solve his money problem. Well, no, they didn't make any money on the bond sales. But our market, though, is going crazy over the fact that the whole world is getting screwed. And Labor Board gives U.S. unions a rare victory. Yeah, the, they're going to allow uh, the basically the board is going to allow the unions the the real short turnaround time for elections, which means they can't be stopped. Oh, really? Which means any bit, they can demand the business become a union, and two weeks later it's a unionized business. What? Which they said it won't survive the Supreme Court. They know that. So it also won't survive the next session of Congress. Because the Democrats basically, okay, they, they keep telling Obama, you go too far. But um, one of the people said, this one for the Democrats last night, one of their senators is no longer going to, he's retiring because of the nonsense. He said, it doesn't make any difference whether Congress approves his $1.2 trillion budget increase, you know, you know, the money he needs. He's just simply going to do it by executive order. Because he has, um, this is a Democrat, he has total and absolute contempt for the way that things are done in this country. He's just going to do it as an imperial president. Well, he's been doing that. Yeah, but how can you continue to, how can you have leading Democrats saying that he doesn't care about anything but being the king, saying that the President of the United States is easily going to win the next election because the people love him? No, mm -hmm. they don't. And Yahoo to weigh deals for Asian assets, sources. Yeah. Uh, what's happening is they're going to sell the 40% of the Chinese search engine back to China for a lot of money. And then they're going to sell uh, Yahoo Asia to the individual countries where they're at. Then they don't have to worry about the censorship problems anymore. <laughs> in that ruin. They get, they're going to pick up about $18 billion for it. And Bill also would prohibit requiring the greeting as long as all South Carolinians don't have health insurance. Oh, this is a good one. Have a good day. And you're having a, okay, it's, it's a good day to be in South Carolina is what it, their greeting is. And they're, they're two Democratic senators are passing, getting out. You know, it's, a, it's a Republican Congress, folks. It's had no chance in hell. But can you imagine, we, you know, the governor of the state and Republicans don't want people to have health care. And it is not a good day in South Carolina until all of them have health care. No, she just said to tell people, still, she said the thing to the people, the staff answering the phones for her, just tell the people it's a good debate, it's a good day to be in South Carolina. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and they think that that's an abomination. Democrats would. <laughs> yeah, I know, isn't that amazing? And government to pay families $17.8 million for military jet crash. No, they won't. Military never settles for, for accidental death. Mm. What happened was a, a plane crashed into a people's house and uh, they wanted, they sued the government for 50 some million, so the government settled 17. Government doesn't pay off over accidental death. Never does, never will. It, well, it's, it's accidental, right? Well, I don't yeah. know what they No, but they do not pay. Um, uh, for instance, I, I worked on an episode of Quincy 
that basically was based on truth where they were sending test pilots up in planes that they knew the electrical system wasn't any good on mm -hmm. and uh, they sued the government over it and then you know the, the uh, they, you know Quincy is very proud of the fact that well we did our job we got this family and we pointed out an error and then the guy that basically was the doctor in charge I told you it was a waste of your time because what's what's going to happen next yeah. well the government of the United States does not accept the ruling of this court and we will stay the ruling until such time it can be heard again and they're never heard again in Quincy. But that's not how it's supposed to be done. Said I told you not to take on the government. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay. If people continue to tell you that you're a loser enough, you're going to believe that you are a loser. Mm -hmm. Don't